us was a great challenge to get us mentally ready to go into the season. So I think in a good way it helped us prepare. We had some adversity. You like to have some adversity in the first game, and we did. And uh, we saw a lot of things that happened on the field as what you hope we could build off going forward. Adolphus seemed to have a really good game. Coach, when you broke down the film, how did he grade out? I did. He did really well. I thought he played really well, plays in spots. You know, and my thing is really trying to keep kids, guys fresh. Uh, he played about 59 plays, probably about eight or nine plays more than I like to play at this stage of the game. But I thought he did some real good things inside. He really makes some really great athletic plays. And so hopefully he continue to grow as we move forward. Larry, it's been like the last couple of weeks that you guys spent an awful lot of time preparing for Navy and their unique offense. How much did that leave for you just getting ready for a traditional attack? Well, I think we did a little bit of both as we move forward. You know, we got it close to the last week or so. We spent more time getting ready for Navy. But we've done some early on just to prepare for things going forward. Plus, our offense you know, gave us a good challenge running some zone and stuff. So we're not totally away from it. But now it's going back and we learn everything we taught early in the season. Well, well, it's uh, tougher. It's, is it tougher to learn how to, is it tougher to prepare for Navy or almost have to prepare like you're playing left handed? Or is it tougher to go from that? To, to a more normal game plan. I think it's week. tough playing Navy because you can't simulate the speed of what they do. And that's the first thing, the first snap of the play. Our guys came off the sidelines because they were really low. And they were. They were like bear crawling off the ball. That's an adjustment you got to make for. You can't practice that no matter how much you try to simulate it. You just can't get it done. So that was a tough part, really adjusting to the speed of the game real quick because we haven't seen that in practice. We couldn't, you know, couldn't emulate that. What was it like for you being on a different sideline for the first time in I have some moments, the moments where you go, where am I at? You know what I mean? But I, but I, but I, I, I tell you what, it's been great. It's been awesome. It was really good. As you start and learn the tradition of Ohio State University football and the little things that goes on, you really get the feel for how special this place is. And I, I, I can't tell you what. I'm really excited. My players have been absolutely awesome. And uh, I'm having a lot of time. I'm a lot of fun right now. Penn State had that early game where did you find yourself you know, catching the score or anything like that? No, I didn't, I didn't watch. I was too busy preparing for our game. It was 8.30 <laughs> in the morning. I was down in meeting breakfast, meeting my players. Have you guys ever gone against Vodka before when you were Penn State? No, we have never played him. No, we have never played him. This is our first no, opportunity. Did you know Coach Beamer at all? I knew Coach Beamer. We, we met and talked during recruiting. I know Bud Foster and the D-line coach real well. So I know the guys, but we have never played him. Yeah. What stands out about him, Larry, more than anything else uh, as you no, study they, him? they got a good quarterback. I mean, he's a good passer. I mean, he is. they got a big offensive line. they got two good young running backs. And so, you know, it'll be typical. Typical uh, pro type offense, with a little East Coast flavor to it. You know what I mean? So, it'll be a good challenge. Do you expect to see a, a big smile on Joey Bosa's face going into the game? I mean, this is a more yeah, a, a conventional warfare, so to speak, for you guys. I, mean, I, I think when you, anytime you're 6'5 and guys are playing around your legs, it'd, it'd be nice to know you can play a ball. Yeah. You know? And I think he's looking forward to it and uh, playing a different type of offense. Just looking at him and what you saw of him on video from last year, what, where has he made improvement in your in your estimation? I, I think the, the thing that people don't realize is that, you know, technique is really is, is you have to be sound in your technique, you know what I mean, no matter how good a player you are. And I think the thing that he's done this fall going into the season, that he's really fundamentally sound on technique by his stance, his alignment, and those things are really key to keeping him going forward as a great player. And I think that's the thing I would say I take most from what he's done uh, is that he's really bought into being a fundamentally sound football player. Urban Meyer says he thinks he could be one of the great, one of the, one of the really great defensive ends in the country this year. Do you buy into that? Do you, gr you agree with that? He's got an opportunity to. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of football left to play. You know what I mean? He's a marked guy because guys know he is, and he'll get protection turned to him. He'll get chips. So there's a lot of things heading into the season that he's going to see he hasn't didn't see last year. Yeah. So I, I think he has a chance to be all those things. But again, it's just too early to determine where he's going to be.